got there? Your Girl Scout cookies, dude. My Girl Scout cookies. Good thing you ordered lemon out. The fat there. guy never orders Girl Scout cookies. Don't you know this? The s'mores might have been in jeopardy. I was literally, you know how when a dog sees food and you yell at it a couple times and it'll just turn its head so it can't see the food? That's what I was like on the way here. Denying that it exists. <laughs> All right, so we're back in the garage and we got the Razor doing some stuff on that, but uh, we just filmed a fire extinguisher video, so check that out. You should be able to see that on the uh, channel now. Um, got Ian over here with his X3, and uh, we have his new windshield to install, uh, courtesy of Jeff Johns, and we have tire tie-down kit and a couple other goodies. We're gonna take his roof and uh, do a little uh, down dampening and lock tightening on those bolts. Uh, what else we got? We got um, what we need is a drill. What do you need a drill for? You, you, your old hands don't like uh, screwing? I don't like work back. <laughs> covers this. So uh, we also put on his fire extinguisher. Like I said, we just did a video on those. So he's rocking the Sector 7 mount, which is really nice. You can simply just grab it and hook the tab, it comes right off. Right back on, no rattle, no jiggle, no nothing. So yeah, we got a lot of stuff going on and uh, getting ready for our BDR trip. Uh, more content coming on those uh, for you guys to find out. We also have a front end grill for the X3 from Superior. So shout out to those guys. Um, what else do we got around here? We have a full throttle battery going in. We have a whole bunch of electronic stuff going in. Um, yeah. We got a fastener down here that we can yeah. barely get to. If you ever have trouble getting the stock grills out, these little guys are lifesavers. All right, so we grabbed the new grill from Superior and got her in. Pretty simple setup. You have to loosen the front fascia on both sides to kind of give you enough space to pull the included torque screws out of the original grill. But uh, once she's in, she looks a whole lot better. We got Ian's new windshield here. Uh, this is an automotive grade impact resistant glass. And uh, we're gonna go down with uh, the foam tape and do a nice little seal, the anti-vibration seal on it and make sure it uh, is as solid as it can be. You can see out of it. Yep. Yeah, that's the best thing about glass. Yep. Yeah. No, I dig it. We'll have to rain X the heck out of it and it's not particularly heavy. So that's yeah, about what? Twenty pounds? It's supposed to rain, uh it's supposed to rain all weekend, so where are we going? We haven't talked about that yet. Uh we're going to the Cascades. Going up to Conconoli? You know, I've heard it pronounced eight different eight different ways from Sunday, so it's something. It starts with a C. I trusted my robot overlords, Google, to tell us what, uh, how to say it, and they said Tonk and I, so. Yeah. We're going up there without a winch. We're going up there with a winch. Did you bring the line? It's in the driver's seat of the truck. Why aren't we putting it in? It's going to take some effort to do that. So we're getting an Extreme Performance console made of aluminum, I believe. Custom laser cut uh, for all your accessories, your Switch Pros and... Uh, GPS and all that jazz. And we got a secret too. Oh, secrets. Secrets aren't secrets if you tell them. We, do we want to keep it a secret? Well, that's up to you. We're going to do something that's never been done on a UTV before. Mm. We'll have a whole video on that, so no reason to dive into that now. But anyways, <laughs> so we got the, the grill installed. Winch line needs to be replaced. Got the window installed, looks good. 
and uh, Ian's ready to go. We are not taking the Razor tomorrow uh, to Continental Link. But uh, yeah, till the next time guys, peace. Well, we're stuck in traffic. We took off, what, about an hour? Uh, 45 minutes, somewhere in there. We're, we're, like, we're between Wilbur and Preston, Washington. Yeah. On our way up to Continental Yeah. Yeah. Gonna go up to the Jamboree, yeah. see what it's all about. I haven't been there before. Got an invite from uh, a dealer, and uh, they offered to put us off. Have a uh, full throttle and the side-by-side -side guys come in, shake some hands, kiss some babies, hand out some stickers, answer some questions, and shoot some banger images. That's what we yeah. do. See what we can do out there. Yeah. It's gonna probably be a little wet. Oh, we got the windshield. We got the windshield installed, so that should help a bit. Um, don't know what that's gonna turn into for footage-wise, but we'll try to get something for you guys. Yeah, um, if I've said it once, I've said it a hundred times. See how the Can-Am guy is all laid back here? And the RZR <laughs> guy is just like upright and pushed forward. That's <laughs> the way God designed seats, Ian. Is it? You guys are the ones that broke them. I'm on the gangster lane. <laughs> So we're gonna go up, have a good time. You know, we're not gonna be there for a long time, just a couple days, and see what we can trouble we can get ourselves into. Maybe get stuck. That's the goal. Brought a brought a little thing with us. It's my new little contraption I got. But uh, we did a little poll, and everybody wants to know what this little guy is all about. So this is a DJI Osmo action camera, and the GoPro 7 Black. Um, we're gonna go get footage from the same camera, same angles and see what happens and uh, compare them for you guys so you guys can see which one you should be buying. They've, uh, they both are come down in, coming down in price uh, because of the Hero 8's out and DJI is going to be putting out a new camera probably pretty soon. So maybe we'll compare those when those come out. But um, So what you're saying is the video has to get produced very, very quickly. Very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> There's going to be a quick turnaround time yeah. on this one. Yeah. So uh, yeah, it's not going to be you know some super in-depth technical review. It'll just be you know, here's footage that we got that, you know, compare for yourselves. See what it looks like to you and see if it's worth your time. Right. So, anyways, looks like, looks like traffic's moving again, so we'll uh, check in later. is what he said. Alright, so we're just outside of Concali. Concali. I'll never get that right. But uh, we're inside Ian's trailer. And uh, so just wanted to take you guys on a first round test of the camera. So we're going from a dark inside trailer to outside. Nice contrasty stuff. And uh, so let's take a little walk around. High contrast skies to the dark inside area. Now I don't have any of the lights on in this house, so you're getting a full dynamic range test. Bright windows, dark surroundings. And we can go outside. 
back inside. And uh, yeah, these are our shindigs. So let's see uh, what happens with the uh, light test. Nice skin. Nice little room to stay in. Pretty sweet place. Choices. I got a lot.